Well, we're joined by uh, Ed Fonger from the city of Swiftkern and the uh, deputy fire chief for Swiftkern, Dean DeGuerre. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Now, uh, as we head into spring, a lot of people will be uh, getting their fire pits back out again. And there's uh, a lot of things you need to keep in mind if you're uh, bringing back out that fire pit or maybe starting to use one for the first time. Right, Dean? It's exactly it. It's that time of year. So we thought it'd be a good time to talk about some of the requirements and the restrictions over their use. Uh, first and foremost, uh, fire pits in the city um, must have a permit. And uh, as far as the pit requirements, uh, they have to be a non-combustible construction and they have to be covered by a heavy gauge metal screen with openings no larger than half inch. And uh, only charcoal, cut seasoned wood, or manufactured fire logs can be used in them, so no burning of household waste, garbage, dangerous goods, or anything that generates black smoke or offensive odors. And uh, as far as their location, uh, they have to be 10 feet from property line and clear of any overhangs such as trees, utility lines, etc. Uh, that's a quick overview, not totally comprehensive, but if people would like more information, the fire pit permit uh, is on the city's website or they can contact the fire department for additional information. Yes, uh, certainly uh, some good things to know there. Uh, also, as we head into spring, uh, the risk of severe weather certainly increases. And, of course, we had that uh, flooding emergency uh, not too long ago. Uh, Ed, you want to remind everyone that uh, we need to be prepared for those uh, eventualities. Absolutely. Like uh, next week actually is emergency preparedness week. So I just want to remind everybody, you know, just uh, you look back at last month with the flight and how things can change so quickly. So, you know, just get yourself prepared. Get your 72-hour kits prepared. Uh, you can go to uh, getprepared.ca for, for more information on how to, how to build one. And then also, too, in order for us to be able to contact you to uh, let you know of, of uh, certain situations, how things change, please head over to our city website and click on Voint Alert so we can get a hold of you and let you know what's going on. But, yeah, the importance of being prepared uh, definitely is huge. Uh, we do have extreme weather coming up. Uh, it's that season with the thunderstorms and lightning, and uh, weather has been changing over the past couple of years. So, like I said, just a matter of getting prepared and right. knowing the risks. All right, indeed. Uh, Ed Fonger and Dean DeGuerre, uh, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.